Hello, I am Michelle Stork. I am the Communications Officer at the new Centre for Teaching and Learning and I'm here today with Dominic Lukes, the Learning Technologist at the Said Business School and we will talk a bit about his IT Innovation Challenges project. Dominic, do you want to introduce us to the project? Yes, thank you Michelle. So the project was to create an instant video recording space and we are actually in the space right now recording this interview and this space the project was to make this space available across the universities so that people uh, from lecturers to students could come in and record short videos. So what kind of videos can people record inside the Rapid MOOC? Any videos that uh, have you and some objects behind you. And the way it works is you simply plug in your, your laptop with a PowerPoint behind you. There's a green screen and some lights. You have to put on a microphone and then uh, you push a button and it starts recording. And it's, it's as simple as that. And uh, that means that you can create any videos where you want to present something. People have created videos for outreach, for public um, consumption, but also for internal purposes, for sort of pre-work um, uh, for workshops. They've also done it for creating little pitches, for elective courses, a whole, a whole lot of videos. And on the CTL website, you, will see, you can see a sampler of the different kinds of videos that people have made. That sounds great. Do you also provide training for the Rapid MOOC? Yes, so we've created a, a series of training events. We have a familiarization session that runs through the IT Learning Center and a three-hour workshop that takes people through the whole process of thinking about preparing their video. The unit itself actually doesn't require any training. We have some training materials here for you to go through, but it, really all the skills you need is to plug in your laptop and then the presentation appears in front of you. But many people like to think more deeply about what should be in my presentation, what should my video look like, how long should it be, how should I structure my video. So we have a workshop that we've run about six or seven times now and it runs at least once a term through the IT Learning Center. Great. Let's return to your project and talk a bit more about what you've achieved. Yes, thank you. So we have actually now uh, been able to set up three of these spaces around the university. Uh, the way it works is uh, we uh, buy in a unit called Rapid MOOC, which is an all-in-one uh, box that has all the things you need, plus a green screen, plus lights. And uh, then we originally just tried to br uh, bring in one, but it's been so successful that now there are three around the university. There is one at the Banbury Road at the IT Learning Center, and there is one here at the Foundry, which is where we're recording. And also we have one at the Site Business School, which is being used for internal purposes there. Great. Can you just elaborate on how people can book on it and use this facility? Yes. So people can um, book these spaces via the Rapid MOOC page on the, C uh, on the Center for Teaching and Learning website. And then, so if you go there, you can find ways of, of booking. We're at the moment in the process of improving the booking system, but the, you can certainly come here and book it and, and then use it, and it is free. Great. Sounds really good. So could you just quickly summarize uh, in which sense the project has brought benefit to the university, because this is what the IT Innovation Challenge is all about. Yes, so the project has uh, been able to, just within this sort of first year and, and a few months, been able to create over 300 videos that people have created across the whole university. People from uh, doing internal training, uh, people creating online uh, courses at the at the medical school, we have done a lot of stuff internally, and that itself, if we had had to bring in external uh, production companies, that would have cost bet anywhere between 100 and 200,000 pounds, and we were able to do this all just with these units internally without any external support. So that's a great benefit, and we've also been able to train a lot of people in this and raise the awareness. We run a conference on video in higher education here, and so that I think has made uh, made the environment around the university much more so conducive to people trying these things and creating videos like this. Mm. So if you had to make some recommendations to people who want to apply for IT Innovation Challenges, what, what would you say? Yes, so uh, the key thing that we've learned is that sometimes the actual implementation of the project isn't uh, the difficult part. So we mm. initially scoped this project for six months and we achieved all the headline objectives. We bought in the units, we set up the space, we um, developed the training and, and sort of did some outreach, but it turned out that actually it wasn't really enough. It wasn't enough time for people mm. to find out about it, become familiar with it. So we asked for an extension and we were able to run a lot more workshops, a lot more training events. Uh, I, I went to a lot around the university, talked to a lot of mm. people. We loaned the units to uh, the hospital for, for a mm. month so they were able to create videos on site. So, so, so it's more the sort of relationships you build and the communications around it. And it isn't just enough to send emails. You sometimes just have to go to people and say, yeah. so drag them by the sleeve and say, come, come have a look at this cool thing. And that, that has allowed us to sort of make this more popular. And also people saw it and, and wanted more of them. So that's why we, how we ended up with more than just the one space. Sounds like you've had a really successful project. Well, thank, thank you, you for the interview today. Thank you.